Can you solve quadratic equation by factorization method? If you think you can, pause the video and make a guess. We have 7x squared plus 10x plus 3 is equal to 10. What are the values of x? For us to do that, since the leading coefficient is more than 1, we have 7. Multiply first the leading coefficient and the constant together. So 7 times 3 is 21. Since we've gotten 21, so two numbers that once you multiply them, you get the 21. But be sure that if you add the two factors, you are going to get the 10. You see that when you multiply 3 and 7 together, you have the 21. And when you add 3 and 7 together, you have 10. So for us to fact, uh, expand the middle term now, we have 7x squared plus one of the factors, 3x plus the other factor, 7x, then plus the last term, 3, is equals to 0. Now we have to group the brackets. We group the first two terms and group the last two terms. If you look at here, we can simply factor a term, x. If you factor x, you are left with 7x. If you factor x in 3x, you are left with plus 3. Here, we can actually factor 1. Plus 1, we are left with 7x plus 3 is equals to 0. So at this point, we now group the two factors in two brackets equal to 0, x plus 1, x plus 1, then the common factor 7x plus 3. Since two terms multiplies to get 0, that means one of them is 0 or both of them are zeros. We have that x plus 1 is equal to 0 for the first bracket, meaning that x is equal to plus 1 crossing the quality sign becomes minus 1. Then for the second one, 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. That means that we have 7x plus 3 crossing the quality sign. We have minus 3. Divide by 7, divide by 7. If you divide by 7, x is actually minus 3 over 7. So the two factors are minus 1 and minus 3 over 7. Bye-bye.